You are so far out of line right I'm now. I'm even... I just got worked over by a guy in jail who thinks I like beating up teenage girls because Christina lied and said I did just that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should. Uh, you now you come out and accuse me of running down Kiefer. Hey, come on. Hey. I'm like... What are you doing? Look, if my brother's bothering you, just say the word. I'll have you removed from the hospital. Christina's the one who came up to me and started accusing me of no, running it, down Kiefer. It doesn't Kiefer. matter, okay? Christina has suffered a hell of a lot in the last few weeks, and I know you got a raw deal too, but do not make this about you. She's been through enough. I know, okay? I'm the one who brought her here. I know what she's been through. Then man up and stop yelling at a girl who can't take it. Oh, forgive my insensitivity here, but I get a little frustrated when the entire world treats me like a monster because Christina lied. Ethan's right. I did lie. This is all my fault. Get out. Now. Thanks for the support, brother. Ethan has every right to hate me. And you should, too. Christina, this is not your fault. Okay? I just want what's best for you. We all do. People got angry because I lied to him, Lucky. He invited me to this big party that his friend from Harvard was having, and he even bought me a dress and everything. And I knew how important this party was to him, but I ditched him and went to go see Ethan at the Haunted Star. Listen to me. Do not blame yourself for what happened. Nothing you did justifies Kiefer beating you. If I would have just gone to the party, then... He, he hit you before, didn't he? A couple of times. And did he ever have a reason? Something I said or did. No. But he would... no, see, there is never a good enough reason, Christina. When Kiefer was, he, he was caught in a, in a cycle of abuse. He would hit you and then beg for your forgiveness and then tell you it was your fault that you made him do it, but you didn't. The night he died, he was so scared that the truth would come out and that he, he wouldn't get to go to Harvard and, and that all of his future plans would be ruined. And then he probably freaked when my mom saw him. She said he passed right by her. And then he was driving too fast, and that's why he ended up in a ditch, and he was walking on the road. After hitting you and putting you in the hospital twice, this is not your fault. You had nothing to do with Kiefer's death. Christina, you can't blame yourself for what this guy did to you. But I loved him. Sometimes the people we we think we love don't turn out to be the people we thought. Christina, listen, you can get through this. You don't have to let it define you. There are so many people who love you and want to help you, especially your sisters and your mom. And I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but you're going to get through this. Trust me. thinking what is wrong with you look we did this at the hospital all right i'm sorry i want to pass on round two i understand that you're upset about what happened in jail i would be too but you cannot take out your frustration on a 17 year old girl who's been beaten twice in the last month i mean are you even thinking about what christine has been through huh She's actually blaming herself for the beating she got. Christina thinks I deserve to go down for what happened to her and what happened to Kiefer, okay? The only thing I'm guilty of here is taking her to the hospital. Every time you lash out and try to defend yourself, it just makes it worse. Okay, when are people gonna stop thinking the worst of me, all right? All I'm asking for here is a break. What, so you just yell at Christina until she breaks down? Listen to me, man. That little girl is so fragile that she's about to break into a million pieces. I am not going to just stand there while you unload on her. Is this a private conversation, boys, or can an old man butt in? Handle this matter with discretion, okay? Christina's recovering from serious trauma, and she's going to need her mother. Uh, 
I understand. We'll talk later. All charges against Ethan have been dropped. Alexis just confessed to Kiefer's hit and run. <laughs> so first Christina accuses me of beating her, and then Alexis has me rot in jail for something she did. It's quite a family. Did you just miss the part where I said Alexis confessed? Well, I'm just sick of being first on everyone's suspects list. Well, I've tried to be fair and honest with you the whole time. Come on, Dodge. Your brother's right. He was one of the only people in this crappy town not to rush to judgment about you. You helped me when I was going through a really tough time, and I appreciate that. And I tried to return the favor when you were accused of beating Christina. If I remember correctly, you arrested me three times. I was under orders, Ethan. I was doing my job. I mean, I questioned it. I investigated. I tracked down the witness who ID'd Kiefer's car. I talked to the college kid who yeah, threw well, the you party. you were doing all I... that, I was looking over my shoulder for a hitman. I was the one who called Dante to make sure he got over there in time so Sonny didn't shoot you. You remember that? He saved your life, Ethan. Look, honestly, I have no idea what you were thinking treating Christina like that today. There's no excuse for it. It was cruel, and it was selfish. And if you had any shred of decency, you'd apologize to her. No, I'm not sure that you're totally grasping the concept here, cowboy. No, no. Lucky has a point, Dad. He's right. You know what? Maybe he should apologize to Christina. But I think... Before the maligned and the lied about apologize to the liar who put him in that position, Christina should apologize to him. And I think Alexis should apologize to him, and Sonny should apologize to him, and the PCPD. I think they should all take their turns first.